What's up? Welcome to All Drywall and Paint. This is Diego LeBaron. We're about to show you the process of drywall and how to first coat. Right now we're starting off with the first process and that's what we call peeing out or cutting open the joints. We cut them open so that the mud can squish behind there. It strengthens it more and it has less chances of cracking. So we want it to just be open so that the mud can easily squish in there. Then we come over here, we got another one. We gotta go throughout the whole house and do all of this to every single one. You see all these little fuzzies? All these little fuzzies need to come off in my book. Get this stuff, you see it out, you clean it up. Also, this helps with when it keeps it really flat. So when you put a piece of tape up on top of this, it doesn't stay bumpy because of the hairs. So here's the, uh, the next process. We got metal, we need to throw up the metal. How we do it is we get, we staple on all our metal. Everything is stapled on. Each staple is six inches apart. So right here, whenever you connect these ones, this is the most important part. You want to make sure it's flush with each other. You want to make sure they're each well, flush with each other. Once that's done. This is the next process once we be out, cut out the buckets. We have it nice and open right here so that this hot mud can just squish back there. You got all these broken pieces. So this is hot mud. This stuff sets up within a 45 minutes. So you get hard and stay hard. Now we got the tubs. The tubs are very important. They need to be filled in like this. You get your hot one and you just jam it back there. We pre filled it with hot mud all on these seams so that when we run the tape on them, we don't get shrink back. We got everything pre-filled as you can see, the seams, the tubs, and now we mesh. And we're going to mesh tape this tub right here. So you get it nice and clean. So you got that clean and flat. You just put this over. It's very important that your work is flat because if you have bumps going on here, whenever you put this over, that bump is still going to be there. And whenever you're trying to sand, and make it flat, then it's just gonna be a lot harder of a process. So when you do it right from the beginning, you leave it all nice and flat, you don't struggle with those problems. Like right here, there's some bumps and stuff. Needs to be more flat here. Boom, bang. There's also areas of your metal that you need to mesh. You come in these closets, and you get these little pieces here. You also get small angles here. And that's mesh taping. So the next process after pre-filling and making sure everything's nice and tight and covered with hot mud. Weapon of choice, we got a bazooka here. We're gonna be doing a flat skirt. So,
you're sure. wiping, you want to make sure you clean all the mud off the walls. You don't want to leave stuff like this. Then it'll dry them when you come into the skin box, which you'll see in the next process. Then you get crusties. And I'm a crusty phobic, so you don't want to put crusty all over the job. Here's a hot one kind of close down. completes the first coat for this tub.
other hand, install some flex. This flex tape right here, give you goes on the off angles. Get our measurement. That's it, that's skin box with tape tech. We're gonna tape tech skin box here. 